Through our research, we know uh, consumers are obsessed with authenticity. They also really, really want to know where their products come from and how they're made. And at Western Side, we're in a great position to do that. We source all our apples from a 50 mile radius, and we're still using the similar production processes that we used when we started back in 1880. Sustainability for Westerns is, is more than something we do to stick the environmental box. It's something that we have to do. The water supply we use is, uh, is clean going in, but also we have to manage the water supply out. So we have our own uh, wetlands and our own water treatment works here. Also with the, all the orchards we have, we have to be sustainable with those. Some of the orchards we've used uh, go, go back to when the, the business started, uh, back in, 18, in the 1880s. Um, but we need to make sure that those are sustainable and they're producing year after year after year. Although I'm very much a traditionalist and cider is seen as a traditional product, there's an awful lot of technology that's going on. We now plant new orchards with satellite navigation. There's quite a science between us actually getting the trees far enough apart, opening the trees so we get the sun into the trees. We're using a lot of modern technology to actually achieve better results better husbandry of the trees, better crops, more consistent crops. We are continually evolving. We're continually looking to find ways of doing things differently and do things better. We have had to endorse new technologies, efficiencies of getting enough juice out of the apples. But it all starts from the sort of core subject of we want the right ingredients. It's really important that our consumers understand the importance of our heritage and the environment. The more cider that we sell, the more money we have got to plant more orchards and employ more local people. The orchards that we plant are full of important heritage vintage varieties, some of which have been saved from extinction by my father. By drinking our cider, you're actually contributing to this process. Money will come back to this community and on we go again. It's such a lovely success story of, a, of something British that, 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 that works. The world is always evolving and it's, in my, in my experience, always evolving for the better. Uh, so you'll see the, there's a big growth in cider globally. Uh, which can only be good for the UK because we've got the most cider makers, we've got the most orchards in the UK as well. We're perfectly positioned for this growth in cider and it's, it's good for farmers and it's good for cider makers as well that globally cider is in growth and it's in good sustainable growth. <laughs>